So we are in uh, Arizona. Got some Route 66 stuff going on. Town of Williams. Just before Flagstaff. Cool town. Oh, 312, 307, I should have filled up. Dang it. All right, dudes, we are in St. Louis. And it is extremely hot, it's 95 degrees out, with some crazy humidity, the glorious grandstands. So right now, it's just me and Christina getting ready. The boys are coming in later tonight. Massive area, massive uh, just parking lot. We don't even use the whole thing. Got all the prospect kids are back in town. So yep, yeah, gotta set this sucker up. This is how I'm trying to survive right now. Bald head, gotta keep it clean, right? Try to not get sunburnt. So <laughs> I'm gonna lose this thing in a minute, I know it. But yeah, all the ice, all the water we can get. AC, I don't think it's gonna make it through here. I don't think we're all gonna make it through here. Chris Jackson had his heat stroke in the last round. Let's see what we do now. What do you got there? Got a trophy for you. What's it for, bro? Spirit of Drifting 2020. 2020. There you go. All right, so. I got a trophy, this is from last year. UPS, they downgraded from their trucks. They got golf carts now and they're a little bit late. They finally caught up to me. So, thanks FD, that's rad. The boys are here, finally. I'm so happy, I thought they were coming later. Anyways, we gotta do some sketchy, slightly sketchy stuff. How do you catch it? You don't, you don't think you wanna split those? I don't know. Yeah? yeah? All right. That seems full legit, right? Woo! That's oh. cute. <laughs> there was like no rolling involved though. <laughs> well, okay. No. It's a slider. It's a slider. It's <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's talk about my big ass spacers real quick. Three inch aluminum spacers, 75 mil, right? Is that what it is? Uh, I believe something so. about like that. Yeah. Anyways, everyone says you can't run spacers. Well, what are we on? What am I on? My fourth year? Yeah. It's Mark, ones. everybody, by the way. Hey, I'm Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems a jet, Wisconsin. And uh, he's here helping me out. Jackson is in, uh, well, he's somewhere. He's not here. He's, not here. he's doing his own event. Anyways, Don't hub centric. And yeah, that's what we're doing. We're replacing these things. That's what wore out after four years. And. Other than that, she's been good. So I'm really hoping I don't jinx myself. Please, please, please. But yeah, been good so far. And uh, we always make sure to torque these down inside there. So we torque the inner ones to like 90. I normally do these at about 80 because I want the gun to be able to take them off real easy and no need to stretch those out. Blazing hot over here. Greg's trying to learn how to work the laptop. He's gonna give us a new tune file. I don't know what Lucas has been doing. I, he swears he's been filming something. Maybe we'll see. Jeff's tired. He needs his magic sauce. I'm burning. That car is a million degrees inside there. But this camera needs to be wiped off. You recording now? 
Let me say something really? Yeah. All right, so I'm in this uh, very hot room. So I just want to say that we have it worse than the guys over there at the track. This is like very humid in here. It sucks. Um, and I'm, I'm writing notes. I got my notes here. This is, uh, I'm writing right here that he sucked behind Forsberg. Um, I already told him on the radio, but I'm writing it down so then I can put it in the computer. And, and tell him again. And tell him again yeah. at the end of the day. Uh, so hopefully that, uh, that makes him drive better. Alright, these are the boys that we destroyed today. Did you name them? Do any of them have names? What's the name? Uh, this one's Chris, this one's Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> they're burnt, and it's like they're red and burnt. Come on, you gotta have more names. <laughs> Bjorn. Bjorn? <laughs> That's a weird name. Yeah. Well, he's kind of weird. He's kind of odd. He didn't, didn't get fully burned. Ah. So some of these have two chase laps, so they got more. Some of them have two leads, and that's like those super dead dents over there. What's up, bro? What's up? I'm vlogging right now. Well, I'm trying to vlog, so. Those more rubbers? The tire stack boys are the guys who uh, handle all the biz. So if you see, these guys are over here just banging away at everything. They pretty much keep us running. So kudos to these guys. Look at those huge tire stacks over here. Holy moly. All right. I'm gonna go maybe lay down. Get some food, possibly. I'm uh, burnt, it was so hot. Filming things. All right, it is still Thursday, but we are running late into the night. So in uh, this gateway, big ass track. I'm gonna zoom in and see how this works. That's the Grand Test Crew Watch. The track is over there. Uh, here's the pits for uh, Pro 2, Pro Spec right now. We're sharing it with him. But we got to sneak under there. So that's pretty good. Have our drivers made it under here also, outdoors, with all the uh, random COVID stuff happening. Got a random Daniel there, JTP, Dylan, Odie. Whoa, there's that kid. So it's been awesome. <laughs> Late night, just did 10 runs throughout the day, got some night practice in. Boys are handling the toolbox and all that, take everything back. Uh, I'm gonna drive the car back in a minute. But first, late night driver's meeting for something. Not sure what. I think I've missed a few of these. So I'm gonna hang out with this and then go put in work. All right, all done with that meeting. Hopped in my car. And look at this stupid light, decided to come back on. Hasn't worked all night when I needed it. But I've decided to come now. All right, as you can tell, I'm tired, it's hot. Time to go back to our trailer and uh, go do some work and then go home and go sleep. 
So everywhere we go to eat, Greg's always got to ask, what kind of what kind of bread, <laughs> what kind of oil do they have? <laughs> hey, what is it cooked in? Bro, he's asking what kind of oil they drive. I know. So not only is he asking what kind of oil are they cooking it in, this speaker at Jack in the Box sucks. And this dude couldn't hear me at all. <laughs> the oil that fucking fries, man. What the fuck do you mean? I didn't know what to say. <laughs> cherry Coke okay. Is Cherry Coke okay? Yeah? boys here. Jason from Link ECU is going over locks, making sure we're all golden. The, uh, one of the biggest part that helps our program is having the dudes from Link actually go over our logs and make sure that we're not doing anything dumb. And it's easily one of the best ECUs out there that I think you can get. The logs, like I always show you guys on my Instagram on how I look at them, they're super simple and easy to use. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, right now we're just going over some sensor stuff to make sure that one of our sensors is calibrated correctly. Uh, other than that, everything's great. Greg is going over uh, nut and bolt in the car. Jeff's already done his section because he doesn't take breaks. He just works his ass off. <laughs> so we're ready to go. We're killing it. Yo dudes, so, been doing a uh, doc Instagram takeover and forgot to film a lot of things today. So we have did uh, three laps today, actually may have done four. Um, got an extra one in there maybe. Uh, so it's time to qualify, it's Friday, it is Friday. Just got a lot of things on my mind. So I went out for the first practice lap, did a lead. I came up a little bit short on outer zone, outer zone four and as I was exiting, Forsberg kind of hit me exiting, but I think that was more uh, him gripping up, not really too big of a deal. 
car's lined up over here. Dudes are checking it. We lost a little bit of camber when he hit me, a little bit of toe, but not too big of a deal. All the part shop max stuff is really easy to work with and uh, easy to fix. It's kind of meant to do what it needs to do so nothing else gets messed up. Did break a rim, which is kind of interesting, but that's usually, you know, you get a rim to rim contact, stuff kind of happens. Yeah, let's switch this around, look what's going down. All right, so, Floyd's working on the car, everyone's lined up. This is a, a rare occasion when we get all this shade lined up somewhere, level ground, but it's so freaking hot. It's like 95 degrees, so it almost doesn't even matter. The shades maybe make it like, I don't know, 89, it's terrible. Uh, let's see, where's this rim at? There we go. So that rim broke right when I got here. Interesting. Oh, there's a spare piece. It almost hit me. Yeah. It was like right there. And that was so, right where you're sitting. It's an interesting souvenir for someone. Maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? Yeah, as you can tell from my breath, it's uh, breathing. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys know my breath. Um, it's tired. Today is a exhausting day. Today is like a really short day, but we've been out here since 12, standing around in the heat, did an autograph session at 5, and sat you know, in the heat, met all the fans. That's really rad as always, but still just kind of exhausting to sit there in the heat. And uh, now it's time to amp ourselves up. So I need to go get myself a nice cold dock and get ready to focus and get wild. So time to go qualify. Let's watch our qualifying run and then uh, we'll talk about it. Yo dudes, in the whip. Just about to go qualify. Forsberg's up before me. I'm gonna go in the burnout box and uh, try to lay down the best lead lap that I can. Of course, this is always like a little bit of a, not too much of a nervous spot, but this is where you would be nervous. You know, you wanna lay it down, do everything right in one run. But you know, most part, we wanna have some fun with it, right? Kick some jams. He needs to win here, but uh, Jeff Jones, car number 818, from Los Angeles, California, California talking about a good time of the run. In the, in the pit, in the pit. All right, as the, the GG radio goes going on, the Xbox charger underneath the hood. Now, getting in that third outside zone. Ryan, just the, the, the progression of Jeff Jones, we always say that you need him the relentless one. And I think that's exactly it, man. He's a. He's, he just has a lot of fun. He's doing things on his own terms and just just levels up man yeah, it's really he, great to see he has created a sphere of influence that is marked by his just wonderful per personality the wit he brings to the table and the constant smile that he has but he's also an amazing competitor and he's had some really awesome moments he's so fun to watch and when he's in the groove it is really hard to to challenge him because he is so unpredictable and getting so strong as a driver every single run. He's one of those kind of guys you enjoy watching. Right. He's always going to put up a fight and, and, and be up there. And yet to get on the podium, but he's gotten so close yep. a number of times. Yeah, he's gotten fourth a couple of times. And, and the, the big thing that you say challenge, I don't know if you've heard the, the rumors or the murmurs, but basically if he, if he wins and he gets on the podium, he's, he's getting he's an impact and he's going to take off his supercharger and take it on the podium with him. I did hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, a score of 87, that's still good, but uh, some room to grow. And uh, you know what? That, it, as long as it gets him, I mean, everybody's going to be in the show as they long. Yo, dudes. All right. Did the qualifying run, and track ripped up a little bit. We went up 2 PSI. Wish we'd gone up maybe 3 PSI instead of 2. Uh, got an 87. And not too mad about it. I think I'm in like 11th right now. Definitely could have been a little bit better. I think I had like a 95 capable run during practice. And if, you, if I rewatch it, I felt like I hit my initiation a little bit too hard, which didn't put me on the right line for one. Lost some points there. And then outer zone two, maybe lost a couple right there. Uh, the rest of the run seemed pretty cool. Felt pretty good and confident. But you know, it all comes down to the battle in tandem. So I feel really confident about that. I got a plan for tomorrow. So we're gonna do some different things to the car and we're gonna be an animal tomorrow. So let's move on with this. There's no words. Turn the back lights on. Okay, all star. No, turn the front lights on. But every word is somebody. Good morning, people. 
another hot and sweaty day out here in St. Louis. So, uh, watched a bunch of runs and got some ideas of what I want to do in our chase for tandem. Got a gear change idea I want to do. Uh, yesterday was a compromise in between a good chase. I guess the last Thursday as well was in between a good chase uh, and then what I was going to do for my lead run. Now that it's competition time, I'm just going to pretty much just go more chase and sacrifice lead. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass, but the competitors I got to go against are essentially monsters and I've got to beat them. So I got to come at it with, you know, a plan, a strategy and get them where it hurts, send it. So that's what's up. We got Mark over here. He's putting in work. Dudes are going over the car, getting everything ready. And it is just blazing hot. Find anything loose? Anything fun? Anything entertaining? No. No. All right. Well, that's a good sign, right? Exactly. Okay. Always with the nut and bolt. Make sure everything's good. That car is running amazing. We did crack a rim yesterday. Uh, that one's getting dismounted and going to give it away as a raffle. My wife's handling the raffles over here, selling all the tickets, shirts, and all those goodies. At every round, we also do this Edelbrock giveaway with swag. Just going to always check that out. And the deals. I think the deals change sometimes, but we got some deals going on right now. Okay, so sometimes you find things. And right now, it is our crash bar starting to bend up from using it as a jacking point so much and or maybe I might have hit a wall at a few other events. Uh, but we just noticed that, you know, probably just fatigue, always using it as a jacking point. We just need a little bit more structure and stability. But we got Grant Welder, he's a master welder. And we got Mark weighing it down. He's a master of uh, weighing it down. We've got some water, just in case, you know, things hit the fan. Like, you know, we go flaming. Got extinguisher. Uber We're Ubering it up. Uber ready. Part of the dock brand. So we got some stuff. All right, we're gonna hook you guys up. Awesome. Somebody tell me when to stop. Yeah, you're like, now. We got a Nick here. Nick's danger. Thomas! I thought it was Tori! Okay, listen. What was your name? Tomas! You have a tire, but I don't know if we can give that away. Maybe we can give the tire away, Tim. dudes we're out here in the driver's introduction ceremony things so we got the whole crowd behind us it's time to uh, look pretty sign a few autographs get the VIP people out here and as you know it this is where we do something funky and get down but uh, I'm feeling really good just did those two practice laps and those felt great got the car ripping right now Taylor Hall put down a good lead in front of me and uh, I was able to focus on what I needed to do. So I feel really good. We're gonna against Vaughn right now. Yeah, we're gonna send it. Right, boys? We're gonna send it? Yeah, we're sending it. All right, time to do oh. some dumb things. Oh, oh, oh. All right. 
Drinking some doc bombs, but I plan on working hard tonight. So let's we'll see how this goes. zone initiating and there we go riding right there on the edge of the course now transitioning in that second outside zone Jeff Jones taking that wide line but definitely tightening it right back up into that third outside zone now Vaughn you know doesn't need to be super aggressive here and he doesn't he doesn't do that uh, you know, so no tapping there but to Ryan as you said Jeff Jones was at fault that's a deficit so Got to assume it's going to be an easy one for the judges. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that, that was a, a pretty smart plan there from Vaughn Gittin Jr., knowing exactly what he needed to do here in the chase. We saw those mistakes from Jeff Jones. Vaughn really surged forward, kept good proximity in outside zone one, but where I think he really focused his attention on was following the line. Even if he had to give up a little bit of door-to-door -door action, he still has good relative proximity and no major mistakes in the chase which when you compare it to Jeff Jones, that is going to be a factor that will point the needle in his direction. All right, beautiful weather now here. Slide him left for Gittin, right for Jones. Jones, we got to head back to uh, 818 Brewing when we get back home, bud. And Vaughn Gittin Jr. All right, back in my trailer. Uh, got beat. Basically put down a terrible chase. And it's for a poor reason. A new Vaughn would leave the line late, uh, but he pretty much waited the full allotment of time that he could before he would leave. So really threw off my momentum that I would have to chase him. And he's got a hell of a car, so I knew that I would have to chase it extremely hard to be able to keep it with him. And uh, it just sucks that, you know, if we have a light to take off, I don't know why you wouldn't use it and leave when the light goes out, but my mistake uh, for not, you know, predicting what he does. So I will have to learn from that mistake. Let me go from there. Just for now, got to get back to the team, the dock, and uh, we still got a lot of work to do, even though we're done for the day. We need to figure out everyone else's driving ability here, still take notes for next year, and have some fun. Right, Greg? Here's Greg. That's right, absolutely. That's, uh, what are we talking about here? We're just talking. I need some <laughs> Doc. <laughs> what are we talking about? All right. Cool it full of Doc. Get some Doc. Maybe add a little bit of special sauce to this. Sauce. Send it. I'm the, this event's crew chief, I'm Jeff Ring. 
Uh, this year I just couldn't make it because he kind of sucks, so. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? My name is Jeff. Can I hang out? <laughs> I'm Alpha. I'm the nerd. I got numbers here. And I'm showing to Jeff. That's what I do. Mark, he's my pal. And uh, like side drifting. Seems legit drifting. Oh yeah. I'm the team.